I don't like going to the doctor, so this is no fun. Not a big fan of needles. I'm here for what's called a body burden test. It's not the most pleasant of procedures. It'll take 120 cc's of blood, almost a pint, for scientists to look at traces of 250 industrial chemicals in my body. Sugar. Public health experts are only beginning to understand what harm, if any, low-level chemical exposure can cause. Dr. Leo Trasande worries most about children. Uh, we're currently in an epidemic of chronic disease among American children, rates of asthma, uh, childhood cancers, birth defects, uh, and developmental disabilities are all on the rise, and increasingly they're being attributed to chemicals that uh, we're all exposed to mm -hmm. on a day-to-day -day basis. You, you really you consider it an epidemic? I do consider it an epidemic. Rowan and Michaela <laughs> Holland are some of the first children to sound the alarm. In the beginning, I wasn't worried at all. I was fascinated. Oh. You made this science class for us? Is that what you said? I mean, that's Three years ago, when this video was taken, the entire Holland family decided to get body burden testing for a story in the Oakland Tribune. Their son, Rowan, was just 18 months old. At the time, he was the youngest child in America to ever be tested for chemical exposure. Michaela was just five years old. And I thought that would be really interesting to see, you know, if mom and dad are high in something, would the kids be high in it too? Their chemical exposure levels were high, but then they got the kids' results, and they were shocked. Rowan and Michaela's levels of chemical exposure were two, three, and four times that of their parents. For phthalates, also called plasticizers, found in plastic bottles, personal care products, and medical devices. For PCBs, they were used in electrical insulators in refrigerators and microwave ovens and banned in the late 1970s. But one number stood out, Rowan's level of PBDEs, a class of flame retardants found in everything from foam cushions to rugs to mattresses to casings of electronics. They were nearly seven times the levels of his mom and dad. He has two to three, or at the time of testing, had two to three times the level of um, flame retardant in his body that's been found to cause thyroid dysfunction in lab rats. PBDEs or neurotoxins, they throw off normal brain function in lab animals. So could they be doing the same to children or adults? The answer is we don't know. The federal government had never even received any uh, studies looking at the effects of this chemical on human health because the federal government does not require chemical manufacturers to submit this type of data before bringing the chemical to market. You heard right. The Environmental Protection Agency, which is responsible for chemical regulation, doesn't require manufacturers to test for the effects of new chemicals on human health before getting approved. What's more, the approval process can take as little as 90 days. Compare that to the years it can take for pharmaceutical companies to get new drugs approved.